When you're talking to a girl and she says that she does not want children, that is the biggest red flag in the world. Girls that don't want kids are red flag. So this guy says that if he's talking to you and the next thing you'll be like, I don't want to have children, or you say, he's not saying that I don't want to have children for now. That's what women I would say, I don't want to have children for now. It's not talking about those women. It's talking about the ones that say, I don't want to ever have children ever those are the childhood by choice women he's now saying that they are the biggest red flag like if you come across those kind of women you have to run <laughs> let me read a clip for you all to watch to the end and i'll be back to share my thoughts at the end of the video when you're talking to a girl and she says that she does not want children that is the biggest red flag in the world because she's living for herself more than she is for her future offspring i don't mean the girls that are like ah you know i'd like to delay a few years i'd like to do it you know end of my 20s early 30s whatever i mean women that are like i'm not having children there is no bigger red flag we are all going to pass away and be forgotten the only thing we contribute to the world is our children i always look from the perspective too of like being able to be healthy and have kids is a great blessing right like my brother has special needs he can't run he can't work out he can't speak i can do all those things right so one of my passions is working out, being healthy, taking care of myself, right? I mean, it's such a blessing to be able to do that. I look at having kids the same way. If you're fortunate enough to have kids and have that gift, there's many people that would trade their lives for you. And you you could still be like, ah, you know, I'd rather do it my way. That's fine. I still believe it's an absolute gift and a pleasure. And I think more people, you know, should not take that for granted. Hey beautiful people, how y'all doing today? It's your favorite girl again, Mara David, and I'm back again with another interesting video. So if you're child free by choice, you are now one of the biggest red flag for the dusties. <laughs> you are now one of the biggest red flag for the dusties. They are running away from you right now because you won't let them to have offspring or you won't allow their legacy to continue. So you are a red flag. <laughs> I have interesting reactions to share with you all. Let's go ahead and watch what other people have to say. But then I'd like to know your thoughts down in the comment section about this conversation. Then I'll see you all at the end of all the videos. When you're talking to a girl and she says that she does not want children, that is the biggest red flag in the world. First of all, we all know you've never talked to a woman before in your life other than your mother. But anyway, let's talk about this idea that women who decide to be child free are walking red flags. My guy Owen here says that women are doing this because they're choosing to live for themselves instead of their future children. <laughs> the audacity. That a woman could aspire to be something other than a walking, talking mm -hmm. incubator. Guys like this think that the most important thing in life is leaving a legacy through their children. The problem is their frontal lobes aren't fully developed and so they don't pause and think about what that legacy actually is. What is this guy's child gonna carry the torch for him on? Scamming people into paying for a personal life coaching from a random dude on the internet whose only credentials are his uh, presidential fitness awards they got in elementary school? Dudes like this are so motivated by their ego that the reason they procreate is so they won't be forgotten when they're gone. Not because of things like, oh, I don't know, always wanting to be a father or wanting to nurture and care for someone or wanting to share that experience with a partner. But no, this motherfucker wants his children of the corn offspring so that they can help everyone remember their father, mm. Owen the Grifter, who preyed on sad and lonely men on the internet so that he could make a quick buck. And it's this combination of ego and Christian patriarchal bullshit mm -hmm. that makes it simply impossible for men to envision women who want to pursue other things, whether that's a fulfilling career or some creative passion, or they just want to live for themselves and kids are not their thing and the planet is dying and they think, hey, maybe that's not a great idea. The ability to make these choices, that privilege, in the eyes of these men is reserved for men only. Mm -hmm. Anyway, oh and my guy, I gotta end by saying this, it is so funny that you label this video scary people when the only thing scary is your complete and utter lack of self-awareness. You look like the only advice you should be giving is how to take a fraternity paddling like a champ or how to get cast as an extra and get out too. When you're talking to a girl and she says that she does not want children, that is the biggest red flag in the world. I don't think. But I do have a big red flag, and a bigger red flag is when guys talk about how they want to have kids. <laughs> I am more than welcome to elaborate on that, but I do think a bigger red flag than a girl not wanting to have kids 
is a guy that wants to have kids. Well, because she's living for herself more than she is for her future offspring. What offspring? <laughs> the offspring don't exist because she decided she's not having kids. I and I understand that this is rage based, so this is the last video I will ever stitch from this man, but nothing that he said made sense in regards to a woman choosing not to have children. And be it as it may that you can have kids, does it mean that you have to? Mm -hmm. Like, use your brain, think logically, does this make sense for you, given your circumstances, given what's going on in the world, given your finances, given your stability, like, use logic. Always use logic. Okay. That is the biggest red flag in the world because she's living for herself more than she is for her future offspring. Man, fuck them kids. <laughs> it's so funny to me because it, it'd be dudes just like this talking about, oh, they want kids, women that don't want them, they are biggest red flags and all that kind of shit. It'd be these dudes that have kids and can't tell you shit about them. Don't know their favorite color. Don't know what grade they're in. Don't know their shoe size. Don't know what they're allergic to. Can't give you a teacher's name. Mm -hmm. All you care about is this legacy that's worth nothing. Honey, it's fine. You can die. You can pass away. No one's gonna miss you. Who cares? Life is so much more than your sperm meeting an egg. If that is all you think you have to offer this world, yikes. Like, sir, I challenge you your daddy some very simple questions about you i guarantee you he's gonna get more than half of them incorrect we're going to pass away and be forgotten the only thing we contribute to the world is our children since we woke up and chose ignorance today there's a couple of things that we need to clear up nothing positively impacts the survival of our planet like having fewer kids so in many ways Women who choose to be child-free are the biggest climate change activists. And we are the ones mostly contributing to the future survival of your children. So next time you come across a woman who is child-free, make sure that you bow down, kiss her feet, take a picture, put it in your altar, and worship her for the rest of your lives because nobody and nothing you'll ever do will help your child survive like a person who chooses to not have kids. You're talking to a girl and she says that she does not want children. That is the biggest red flag in the world. He goes on to say that those women are just living for themselves and not the future of their children. And you're not wrong. It is a red flag. Those women are focused on themselves and there's nothing wrong with that. Just like men say that they want traditional wives, and there's nothing wrong with that. The entire purpose of dating is for you guys to find out more about each other, to see if you're equally yoked, if mm -hmm. you have the same religious beliefs, the same political beliefs, if you have the same ideology of family and future. And if you don't, then those are red flags for everybody, and you should just move along. But men don't do that. They degrade women for their choices not to have children. The true red flag are men that don't accept it, try to degrade, force, and embarrass women into following their ideology. When you're talking to a girl and she says that she does not want children, that is the biggest red flag in the world. To you. It's a red flag to you. I'm not really sure why you're saying it like this is something that all men need to live by because most men don't even want their kids. I mean, you tell me what's worse, knowing that you don't want children, so then you decide you're not going to have them, or knowing that you don't want children, but having them to please a man and then resenting your family and yourself, or out here just making babies and then leaving them with other people and abandoning your responsibilities yeah. as a parent. What What's really worse there, you know? <laughs> Because if you're going to go for a woman who brings a lot to the table, job, independent, stable, driven, has goals, right? Able to take care of herself. She's probably not going to be able to do that anymore once she has a child. And you need to be ready to face that and to, you know, accommodate that. Most women who have a career or a really good job or are independent and stable and can take care of themselves, 
um, end up not going back to work. Why? Because the cost of childcare alone is not worth mm-hmm. going back to work. Mm-hmm. Ultimately, you go back to work just to pay for childcare. Mm-hmm. Childcare at minimum, right? The cheapest we paid for childcare was 1200 a month. Or let's say you go the other way. You have a woman who is okay with having children and you want her to be the more traditional stay-at-home wife, stay-at-home mom, um, you need to have all of the resources for her because I can tell you something as a single mom myself who I'm single by choice because it was not worth staying with that person. Society does not give a flying fuck about single moms and our kids. It's my fault, right? It's my fault, you know? Um, so you need to provide her with all the resources. Let's say that she does go back to work after having a child. Um, most of that money is going to go towards child care, anything else that the child needs, whether your child has, uh, any medical conditions or not. Um, let's say that you have a typical child, healthy child, um, you know, they're going to need a lot of stuff. They grow quickly. Are you going to be the type of person that expects her to bring the child to whatever child care you have arranged? Uh, because guess what? A lot of grandparents don't want to watch their grandkids anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you expect her to pick the child up and then come home and then cook a meal and then bathe the child um, all while you clock out and come home and are catered to? Like, do you expect her to work like you do and do 100% of the household duties and child rearing? Because it happens a lot, and that's why women get divorced. Um, and that's, you know, it's so common, and we see it so often. That is what drives women to not want to have children. What drives women to choose being child free is not necessarily that they wouldn't be a good mother or not always necessarily that they don't want children. It's because they don't want to put up with the crap that men hand to us after we have those kids with them. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you now, firsthand experience, the switch up is insane. It is night and day. I want this baby, I want this, I want that, I want us to be this, I want us to be that. And then you have the baby, and then getting a man to change a diaper, feed the baby, wake up during the night, so you're not up all day and all night and all day and all night and all day and all night, like I was, is like pulling teeth. It is like talking to a wall. You are drowning. Women are choosing not to have children with men. That's that's what they're choosing to do choosing not to have kids with men i'm not having any more children everyone asks me why maybe you'll change your mind absolutely not and it's not about the kids necessarily it's because i'm not going to deal with or risk another man switching up on me and then i have to do this for the rest of my life by myself it's not that we don't want to have children it's that we don't want to take the risk on you of course there are still plenty of men and women who who don't want kids and that's totally fine it should be just as normal and acceptable as having kids and then to say it so flippantly as if having a child with someone is not giving everything it is a lifelong commitment whether you are together or not for the rest of your lives your parents and it's your responsibility and yours alone to care for and parent that child Mm -hmm. Because I can tell you what, society does not give a fuck about you. Our government doesn't care. Paternity leave and maternity leave are absolute shit. Healthcare is expensive. God forbid your child has any health issues or complications. And I really do think that idiots come on here like this to just piss people off. And specifically piss off women when it's clearly much more deep than that. And the fact that you make a video like this... Um, and post it shows that you are not ready at all. Um, Not ready, not ready at all. Just because you recognize what a blessing it is. um, It just shows that you're not ready. Because a real man who understands the depth 
um, and lifelong commitment and how serious it is to have children uh, with someone because you're raising a whole other person. You know, the things that you do with the person you're choosing to have a child with will affect that child for the rest of their life. But a real man knows that and would never come on here and say something like that. Also, we have plenty of children in the world. Mm -hmm. Like we, humanity is not on the brink of extinction. Okay. We, I don't know why, just because there's been a, um, a decrease in, in childbirth, um, in birth rates, does, you know, and it's been a significant decrease in the past, I don't know, however many years, certainly since the pandemic, um, is probably fine. You know, we're not on the brink of extinction. You know, it's probably, probably good for our ozone layer and our, our ecosystems and everything. I think, you know, not having children for a little while for humanity is, is green. So, um, yeah, this is just the most ridiculous thing. And I figured being a single mom, um, I could give you a little bit of insight. Okay. And, uh, the ladies, I know that the ladies will agree with me on this. You're talking to a girl and she says that she does not want children. That is the biggest red flag in the world. Honey, let me school you on something. Not all women want to have kids and we do not have to. The population is fine. I'm sure there are many more attributes that you have to give to the world than just your seed. Giving your seed is not a need. It is a want and a preconditioned disease. Thank you for your time. When you're talking to a girl and she says that she does not want children, that is the biggest red flag. Here we go again, another fella dictating what women's choices should be. Oh, you just want to tell them they've got it all wrong. I mean, the only red flags in this world are the ones that we need to wave in the faces of these type of men to keep the fuck out of our way because we're so much happier without them. Oh, when will they learn? They need to respect women's choices. It's a valid choice to say, I don't want children. Nothing to be shamed of, nothing to feel guilty about. Our job is not to perpetuate the human race, right? Maybe in the Neanderthal days before we gained the intelligence. But when we gained the intelligence, it allowed us to move beyond shagging, eating and keeping the fuck warm as everything we ever did in life, right? So there is nothing that says our life, the only thing that our legacy should be is leaving another generation of overloading the fucking planet of kids that we don't need to do either. So it was around 1974 that we actually burdened the planet with more people than it could actually support. And we've kept going. So how is it really not a choice? You know, it's, it's a viable, credible and helpful choice for the world for women to say, no, I'm not going to have them. Anyway. I just wish they sh just shut up, shut up and stop talking shit. If you're CA, kindly put your thoughts and your comments and your suggestion and your opinion about this video down in the comment section respectfully. I know, I know this is another one trying to find attention and saying that childhood by choice women are the biggest red flags ever. <laughs> <sighs> and the reason why they are the biggest red flag ever is because they choose to not have children, not have to allow his, their legacy to continue, which is the main legacy to continue. I feel like it's 
childhood by choice is going to be their biggest red flag which it does this i feel like childhood by choice women will be their red flag because they know that they cannot manipulate them and they cannot you know they know when you choose to be charged by choice woman, you have made up your mind, you're determined that you can never have children. So they know that they cannot easily get to you and it's a red flag to them because you are not easily manipulated. They cannot easily just dump you like that. They know that when a woman is all like, oh, I just want to have a family. I just want to have, I just want to have, I just want to get married. Da, 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 da. They know that they will easily get to you and tell you all those sweet, sweet things you want and, you know, manipulate you, do, 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 do everything just for them to get into your pants. And once they're in there, it's gone. But as a child with a choice woman, you know that you don't want all of that. <laughs> so it's going to be red flags for them because, you you are not easily manipulated so i don't understand whereby you're saying because they don't want their legacy to continue they just want to stop like that da, 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 da. we've talked about this legacy <laughs> video i've talked about it all over again we keep talking about it but i really don't understand why this man will not just keep quiet i just feel like low-key they are angry at Childship by choice women. I personally feel, and I do say it, that men are not happy that some women are choosing not to have children. Do you know what these men do to women that chose to have children? Do you know what these men do to women when they have kids for them? Immediately they know that this woman is already pregnant is a problem. These men are the one that easily shame women that have kids. This one, the one that you know, they see. <laughs> You will see women that probably have like two or three baby daddies coming to tell their stories on what each of the men did to them. You know, you will, you will hear so many stories, you will see so many things in your real life. Even you might even experience some things and see the way these men will treat you when you are pregnant. And one of the stitches was like, it's not that women don't want to have children. It's not because they are not going to be a good mom when they have decide to have the child is because of you they are choosing to be child free by choice because of you justice because of you men that is the reason why most of them are choosing not to have children because what do you do to the ones that have kids for you you maltreat them you leave them you run away you're not taking responsibility you you leave everything for them and that is why they are like you know what if you're going to be the king after i give birth to you it's not going to work i'm not going to do all the work and you know you go free like that you see a man when just as a family you know a family of probably four the husband and the wife two kids you see the man can just stand up and walk out and go anywhere and travel and get jobs outside the states or outside the country without not thinking twice it's difficult for the woman to stand up and decide that i want to go i want to just go down the streets it's not easy for her she has to consider her two children so we see, women have seen that you men is easier for you to do things without kids now nah, women want to be in like they want to be like that they want to be able to make decisions travel you know do things and get jobs and not even consider that they have children they want to live alone and not even think that somebody's going to be calling them mommy 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 here and there and you all are pained they are pained and they're like these women are going to be enjoying what we are enjoying. They don't like it. They are pissed off. And I will keep saying it. I'll just keep saying it. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section. I thank you all so much for sticking around to this point. I hope you enjoyed this video. <sighs> Can you put your thoughts in the comment section respectfully? And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.